Here's a simple example. We have a piece of content. Open the duck pellet food box. Perhaps that piece of content is useful in many different places. Perhaps useful in many tasks, for example. That a big part of doing the tasks includes opening the duck pellet food box. So we have a procedure where we can, through a conref, reuse that piece of content and it becomes step one in this set of steps. We can use the same piece of content in another procedure where it becomes magically step two. This is done through confs where we are referencing the piece of content we want to use in other topics. Here's an example of conref code in DITA. We have identified that we have steps, so this piece of text, the next, the upcoming piece of text are going to be steps. We identify a step, and then we've got a conref to that little piece of text. Now, it looks kind of codey, but don't be worried about it. Your tools, typically if you're using a DITA tool, which most of you will, will create everything from the pound sign on, will create that automatically for you. So don't worry about having to remember this code because you won't have to. It'll automatically be generated for you. And then we have step two, step three, step four, etc. until we are at the end of the steps and then we close the steps off with a closed step.